Welcome back to Time Travelers. Today we are exploring the top 10 most powerful male warriors in history. You will not believe the stories of these men. So stick around to discover who is at the top of our list. Number 10 on our list is William the Conqueror, also known as William I, was the Duke of Normandy and became the King of England following his victory at the Battle of Hastings in 1066. Here's an elaboration on his life and accomplishments. Born in 1028 in Normandy, William became Duke of Normandy at a young age. His rule faced internal and external challenges, but he managed to consolidate power through strategic alliances and military successes. William claimed that Edward the Confessor, the English king, had promised him the throne. In 1066, he invaded England, defeating King Harold II at the Battle of Hastings. This victory marked the beginning of Norman rule in England. William's reign as King of England ushered in significant changes. He introduced Norman feudalism, reorganized land ownership, and commissioned the Doomsday Book, a comprehensive survey of England's land and resources. William centralized power, strengthened royal authority, and implemented administrative and legal reforms. His rule had a profound impact on the English monarchy and governance systems. William's conquest of England had long-term effects on the country's culture, language, and society. The Norman conquest brought Norman French influences, including new laws, customs, and the introduction of the feudal system. William's reign saw the construction of numerous castles across England to consolidate his rule and defend against potential rebellions. These castles became symbols of Norman power and control. William died in 1087. His legacy was continued by his descendants, and his conquest permanently altered the course of English history, laying the foundations for the medieval monarchy and shaping England's identity. William the Conqueror's impact on England was immense. His conquest transformed England's political, social, and cultural landscape, leaving an indelible mark on the country's history and setting the stage for future developments in governance and society. Number 9 is Miyamoto Musashi. He is often referred to as the greatest swordsman in Japanese history, was a renowned samurai warrior, artist, and philosopher. Here's an elaboration on his life and achievements. Musashi was born in 1584 in Japan. He began training in the art of swordsmanship at an early age under the guidance of his father, Shimin Muni Sai, and later studied various martial arts. Musashi developed his own distinctive style of swordsmanship known as Nitinichi Ryu, which emphasized the use of two swords simultaneously, a katana, long sword, and a wakazashi, short sword. He became renowned for his dueling skills and undefeated record in more than 60 duels. His most famous duel was against Sasaki Kojiro, which took place on the small island of Ganryujima. Musashi arrived late, armed with a wooden sword he carved from an oar, and defeated Kojiro. Musashi authored The Book of Five Rings, Go Rin No Show, a classic treatise on strategy, tactics, and philosophy that remains highly regarded in martial arts, business, and leadership circles. Musashi's writings reflect his deep insights into strategy, discipline, and the way of the warrior. He emphasized the importance of adapting to various situations, mastering one's mind, and seeking personal growth through continuous learning and self-improvement. After a life dedicated to martial arts and self-discipline, Musashi retired to a life of contemplation and artistic pursuits, such as painting and calligraphy. His teachings and philosophies have had a lasting impact on Japanese culture and martial arts. Miyamoto Musashi's legendary skill in combat, his philosophical writings, and his enduring influence on martial arts make him an iconic figure in Japanese history. His legacy as a warrior philosopher continues to inspire practitioners of martial arts and individuals seeking wisdom and strategy and life principles. At number 8 is Saladin, also known as Salah ad-Din Yusuf ibn Ayyub, was a renowned Muslim military leader and the first sultan of Egypt and Syria. Here's an elaboration on his life and achievements. Born in 1137 in Tikrit, modern-day Iraq, Saladin came from Kurdish ancestry. He rose to prominence as a military leader under the Ayyubid dynasty, initially serving the Zinjid rulers of Syria. Saladin's leadership skills and military prowess became evident when he unified various Muslim territories, including Egypt and Syria, under his rule. He established the Ayyubid Sultanate and became its first sultan. 
Saladin is most renowned for his campaigns against the Crusader states in the Holy Land. He led Muslim forces against the Christian Crusaders, culminating in the Battle of Hattin in 1187, where he decisively defeated the Crusader army. Following the victory at Hattin, Saladin captured Jerusalem from the Crusaders, ending nearly a century of Christian rule over the city. Despite the conquest, Saladin allowed peaceful Christian pilgrimages and showed respect for religious sites. Saladin was admired for his chivalry, magnanimity, and sense of honor. He earned respect from both allies and adversaries for his fairness, compassion towards prisoners, and adherence to Islamic ethics. Saladin's leadership, military successes, and his role in the recapture of Jerusalem made him a revered figure in both Muslim and Western history. His efforts against the Crusaders left a lasting impact, shaping the geopolitics of the region. Saladin's legacy endures as a symbol of unity, strength, and chivalry in the Islamic world. His accomplishments in unifying Muslim territories and his conduct during the Crusades solidified his reputation as a legendary figure in history. Number 7. Sun Tzu was an ancient Chinese military strategist, philosopher, and author of The Art of War, a renowned treatise on military strategy. Here's an elaboration on his life and his influential work. Sun Tzu's exact life details remain obscure, and there are debates about his existence. He is believed to have lived during the Eastern Zhou period, around 6th century BC, in China. His birth and death dates are uncertain, but his wisdom and teachings endure through the art of war. Sun Tzu's most significant contribution to history is his book, The Art of War, which remains a classic in military strategy and philosophy. This timeless work contains principles and strategies for warfare that are also applicable to various aspects of life, leadership, and business. Sun Tzu emphasized the importance of strategy, deception, and understanding one's strengths and weaknesses. He highlighted the significance of intelligence gathering, knowing the terrain, and adapting tactics to the circumstances. His teachings go beyond battlefield strategies and delve into the importance of leadership, discipline, and morale. Sun Tzu stressed the idea of winning without fighting and the concept that the supreme victory is to subdue the enemy without actual conflict. The art of war has had a profound impact not only on military thinking but also on business, politics, and everyday life. Its principles have been applied in various fields, including corporate strategy, negotiation, and management. Sun Tzu's timeless wisdom in the art of war continues to be studied and applied across disciplines. His teachings on strategy, leadership, and conflict resolution remain relevant, making him a revered figure in both military and philosophical realms. At number 6 we have Richard the Lionheart, born in 1157, was king of England from 1189 until his death in 1199. He is renowned for his military skills and his role in the Third Crusade. Here's an elaboration on his life and achievements. Richard I earned his epithet, Lionheart, due to his valor and courage in battle. He was a skilled military leader, known for his expertise in warfare, particularly in commanding troops during battles and sieges. Richard's most famous exploits occurred during the Third Crusade, 1189 to 1192. He led the Crusaders alongside King Philip II of France and Holy Roman Emperor Frederick Barbarossa to reclaim Jerusalem from Saladin, the Muslim leader. Though they didn't recapture Jerusalem, Richard negotiated a treaty with Saladin that allowed Christian pilgrims access to holy sites. Richard's reign was marked by his absence due to crusading and his ongoing conflicts with various European rulers. He faced challenges in England, dealing with political unrest and financial difficulties resulting from his military campaigns. During his return from the Crusades, Richard was captured by Leopold V, Duke of Austria. He was held captive until a substantial ransom was paid, causing financial strain in England. Despite spending limited time in England during his reign, Richard remains a revered figure in English history. His military prowess and reputation as a chivalrous knight contribute to his enduring legacy as a legendary medieval monarch. Richard the Lionheart's reputation as a warrior king and his involvement in the Crusades have solidified his place in history. His chivalric reputation and military accomplishments continue to capture the imagination and admiration of many to this day. Hi, I'm Jenny, and I'm going to guide you through the top five. Let's get to it. At number five is Napoleon Bonaparte, 
born in 1769 on the island of Corsica, was a military general and statesman who became the Emperor of France. His impact on history is profound and far-reaching. Here's an elaboration on his life and achievements. Napoleon's rise to power began during the French Revolution. His military prowess and leadership abilities quickly propelled him through the ranks. He became a prominent general and gained recognition for his victories in Italy and Egypt. Amid political turmoil in post-revolutionary France, Napoleon seized power in a coup d'état in 1799, establishing himself as first consul and later as emperor in 1804. He centralized authority, reformed laws, and implemented significant changes known as the Napoleonic Code. Napoleon's military campaigns were expansive. He waged wars across Europe, defeating various coalitions of European powers. His victories at Austerlitz, Genauerstedt, and Wagram expanded France's influence and established him as a dominant figure in Europe. Napoleon's rule brought about various reforms in education, government administration, and legal systems. The Napoleonic Code, a system of laws based on equality and merit, remains influential in many legal systems today. Napoleon's ambitious expansion led to his downfall. Defeats in Russia, Spain, and the decisive Battle of Waterloo in 1815 marked the end of his rule. He was exiled to the island of St. Helena, where he died in 1821. Napoleon's influence extended beyond his military conquests. His legal and administrative reforms had a lasting impact on Europe, shaping modern governance systems. His military strategies and organizational skills set new standards for warfare. Napoleon's legacy is complex. He is remembered as a military genius, a reformer, and a central figure in shaping the political landscape of Europe. His impact on France and the world remains significant, and debates about his legacy continue to this day. Number 4. Hannibal Barca. He was a Carthaginian military commander born in 247 BC. He is best known for his audacious military campaigns during the Second Punic War against Rome. Here's an elaboration on his life and achievements. Hannibal was born into a prominent Carthaginian military family. His father, Hamilcar Barca, instilled in him a deep hatred for Rome after the First Punic War. Hannibal grew up witnessing Carthage's loss of territory to Rome and vowed to avenge their defeat. Hannibal is renowned for his strategic brilliance and innovative tactics. His most famous exploit was his audacious crossing of the Alps with a sizable army, including war elephants, to invade Italy. This unexpected move caught the Romans off guard and demonstrated his daring and resourcefulness. Hannibal won several impressive victories against the Roman legions, notably at the battles of Trebia, Lake Trasimene, and Cannae. His tactics, which often involved outflanking and encircling enemy forces, made him a formidable adversary. Despite his victories, Hannibal faced challenges in maintaining his campaign due to logistical issues and lack of support from Carthage. He was unable to take Rome itself and was cut off from reinforcements and supplies. Hannibal's campaigns in Italy are considered some of the most impressive military feats in history. He remained a symbol of resistance against Roman expansion and a model for military leaders for centuries. After the Second Punic War, Hannibal continued to be involved in Carthaginian politics and military affairs. However, fearing Roman retaliation, he went into exile, seeking refuge in various kingdoms before ultimately dying by suicide to avoid capture by the Romans. Hannibal Barca's military strategies, especially his victories against Rome in Italy, solidified his reputation as one of history's greatest military commanders. His legacy endures as a symbol of courage, tactical brilliance, and defiance against overwhelming odds. We are at number 3 for those keeping count. Julius Caesar was a Roman general, statesman, and one of the most influential figures in ancient history. Here's an elaboration on his life and impact. Born into a prestigious family in 100 BC, Caesar rose through the ranks of Roman politics and military. His early successes in military campaigns in Gaul, modern-day France, solidified his reputation as a skilled general. Caesar's political acumen was as noteworthy as his military prowess. He formed the first triumvirate with Pompey and Crassus, gaining power and support in Rome. However, political tensions led to civil war against Pompey and the Senate, which Caesar ultimately won. As dictator of Rome, Caesar enacted significant reforms aimed at improving the lives of Roman citizens. He restructured the calendar, the Julian calendar, implemented land reforms, and offered citizenship to non-Roman Italians. He also initiated ambitious public works projects. 
Caesar's increasing power and disregard for traditional Roman governance led to fears of tyranny among some senators. He was assassinated in 44 BC, sparking further chaos and eventually leading to the fall of the Roman Republic and the rise of the Roman Empire under his nephew, Octavian, later known as Augustus. Caesar's assassination had far-reaching consequences. It marked the end of the Roman Republic and the beginning of the Roman Empire. His military conquests, political reforms, and the shift from republic to autocracy had a profound and lasting impact on Western civilization. Caesar's life is a complex mix of military achievements, political maneuvering, and reformative efforts. His influence on the Roman Empire and subsequent history is immense, making him a figure of fascination and study for centuries. Number 2. We are almost there. Genghis Khan was born as Temujin in 1162, he was the founder and first great Khan of the Mongol Empire, which became the largest contiguous empire in history. His life and conquests reshaped the world in numerous ways. Temujin faced a challenging early life, witnessing the murder of his father and enduring hardships as an outcast. However, through strategic alliances and military prowess, he united the Mongol tribes under his leadership. Genghis Khan was a brilliant military strategist. He organized his army into a disciplined and highly mobile force, utilizing tactics such as psychological warfare, rapid movements, and feigned retreats to defeat much larger armies. Under Genghis Khan's leadership, the Mongols conquered vast territories, including much of China, Central Asia, the Middle East, and parts of Eastern Europe. His empire eventually stretched from the Pacific Ocean to the Mediterranean Sea. Genghis Khan established a system of governance that promoted religious tolerance, encouraged trade and communication along the Silk Road, and implemented administrative reforms that influenced future empires. After his death in 1227, his empire continued to expand under his successors, shaping geopolitics and trade routes for centuries. Genghis Khan's legacy as a conqueror and ruler is complex, as he was both feared and revered, but his impact on world history is undeniable. His ability to unite the Mongol tribes, his military strategies, and the vast empire he established mark Genghis Khan as one of history's most influential and powerful figures. His legacy continues to be studied for its impact on geopolitics, culture, and warfare. And finally we made it to number 1, can you guess who it is? Put your answers in the comments along with, I subscribed. In order to win free chocolates from this young male entrepreneur his company is, A and G Candy LLC. His info is going to be listed below. Now at number 1 we have the mighty Alexander the Great, of course it's in the name. He was born in 356 BC, is one of history's most renowned military leaders. He was the king of Macedon and became known for his military campaigns that resulted in one of the largest empires of the ancient world. Here are some key points about him. Alexander's military campaigns began when he inherited the throne of Macedon at the age of 20. He went on to conquer the Persian Empire, Egypt, and parts of India, creating an empire that stretched from Greece to Egypt and as far east as India. He was a brilliant tactician, known for his ability to adapt to different terrains and circumstances. His army was highly mobile and flexible, using a combination of cavalry, infantry, and siege tactics. Alexander's conquests led to the spread of Greek culture, language, and ideas throughout the regions he conquered. This period is known as the Hellenistic era, characterized by a blend of Greek and Eastern cultures. He inspired his troops through personal bravery and charisma. He had a vision of a united world, where Greeks and Persians would live together in harmony under his rule. After his death in 323 BC at the age of 32, his empire fragmented, but his legacy endured. He became a symbol of inspiration for future conquerors, and his military strategies continued to influence warfare for centuries. Alexander's impact on history was immense, not only for his military conquests but also for the cultural and political changes that followed in the wake of his campaigns. His story remains an enduring part of Western history and mythology. Well there you have it time travelers, 10 fierce male warriors throughout history. Thank you for tuning in don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more amazing history.